In the previous video, we talked about debugging steps, step, step over and step out. Now in this video, we'll talk about breakpoints and we'll also discuss this break on exception. Now breakpoint is used to pause the automation at a specific point while debugging. If I'm here launch and login page and I want to check you know first this part is working fine or not and then if this is successfully processed I don't want to move ahead with this one. I don't want to ch I, I don't want to go to log in that I just want to check that this is working successfully or not. So what I can do I can I have this stage also and I have this stage also. So I can right click and click on breakpoint or I can right click on this stage and click on breakpoint. So we can have multiple breakpoints on the pages. Right click set next stage click on step over and a step over. Now it will launch this application and also the breakpoint reached here. It means this breakpoint reached. So it will not allow you to move to the next stage. So we have seen that this application is successfully launched. It means this is working fine. And then now if you want to check the next stage, you can close this and then you can try again. And again, here we have another breakpoints. So it will not allow you to move to the next. First you have to close this and then you can try this and then it will log into this one. So debugging this from the main page and I don't want to complete these parts. So I can just right click on this and I can click on breakpoint. Now if I will directly debug that that's this step over click on this one. So it will just go from launch login login and then go to orders menu and then it will stop here. It will pause there. Let me stop this and then step over and here you will see currently we have used this also that is why it is coming to that also. Now again we need to close and step over here we have another breakpoints so close that step over. step over again and then step over so it will complete go to orders menu and then now it is on the next breakpoints so we are getting this breakpoint reached so it means you can just put a breaker you know that if i complete this milestone then stop here i don't want to go after that so you can put a breakpoints there now if you want to clear that breakpoints right click on this uncheck that right click uncheck the breakpoint right click uncheck the breakpoint there is another way also let me just apply the breakpoints and you can go to debug clear all breakpoints so it will clear everything let me uh, put one or two here and then go to debug and clear all so it will clear all the breakpoints from this page. Now we have another option that is break on exceptions. Now what is break on exceptions? So if I just apply this break on exception and now this this should be checked. So this is checked now. Now if I will run this one let me reset this if I will run this and it will throw an error whenever there is an error occurs. So if you will see any errors it will show you the breakpoint that now here we have an error and you will see here I have not applied breakpoints here then also we are getting this option breakpoint reached basically I have applied break on exception it means only it will pause that automation it will break your automation it will not completely break it will just pause there whenever the agent error occurs whenever error occurs it will just give you an pop up that this breakpoint reached and then if you want to uh, really if you want to move ahead you can now move ahead you can check 
so there are two options break on ex on exception and break points so break points can be applied anywhere here also here also but this break on exception it will work only if there is any errors so i hope that is clear now in the next video we'll discuss about set next stage and run to this stage